what's up you guys with Andrew Vest here I'm um, doing another figure review of the Spider-Man Classics Parachute Spider-Man uh, sorry I've been gone for a while I've been busy with a lot of stuff but I'm back I'm doing another review so yeah this is a dope figure I really really love this figure very cool um, it's a good like um, let's see um, it's a good replacement for um, McFarlane Spider-Man even though I don't have it he does come with a gimmick, it's a parachute, that's why he's called Parachute Spider-Man. I'm going to shut it off real quick how you do it. So you put the parachute on like this, it's a little backpack, it connects like here. And now I'm going to toss it off and show you guys how far this thing goes. Alright, here we go. Wow, that was terrible. That's a terrible gimmick right there. So as you can see, the gimmick sucks, but that's not why I bought the figure. The figure itself is amazing, no pun intended. It's very cool. It's the same thing as the Urban Legend Spider-Man, but um, this one has a lot lighter blue. Um, I like both of them the same, but this one is very loose. The head's loose, the whole figure's loose, as you can see with the head, and I cannot get the arms to move. With this one, I got them to move. It took me a while, but I got this one to move, and same with this one. It's very tight, but it, I can still make it work. So yeah, um, he's one of those figures where he's very simple, but awesome, and I really like that. Uh, the head sculpt it reminds me of the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, very nice, big eyes and stuff. I, I've seen a few people like shorten the eyes by painting it black. Um, I'm not really going to do that unless I get like a third one. Um, lines are all painted on. Which I don't have a problem with. They're all clean, so I don't have a problem with it. Um, and even with the armpit, you can see that the lines still carry through. They don't match up, they're kind of in a random spot, but it still works. Uh, this one, this one kind of matches up. That's pretty cool. You know, very nice. Uh, they kind of messed up over here. It's the same over here. They messed up on the crotch area too but still very cool. Uh, spider signal, I mean insignia on his chest, came out pretty clean. Same on the back, very nice. Very nice blue, it's um, kind of like a dark blue. The other one's like a light blue. Um, the shoes, I mean, the feet came out pretty nice. You know, very cool. You know, very cool figure. Um, he comes with these two Web shooting hands, very nice. You know, very cool. The articulation is amazing, no pun intended. Again, head looks up very far, moves down, side to side. Um, arm moves up and down, back and forth. He has an armpit joint, which is very nice. Um, the McFarlane one had an armpit joint, but it was like different. But this one is still very cool. So if you wanted to, you can get this guy in a really, look at that, very nice. You can get this guy in a really like, you know, Spider-Man pose. You know, very cool. Um, he has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist from side to side, hand moves up and down, and the the two fingers clamp together. He has a nice ab crunch, very nice waist swivel, leg goes forward and out. I mean, out and forward, swivel at the thigh, knees are double, double jointed. He has a calf swivel, foot moves back and forth, ankle pivot, and toe articulation. So very, very, very nice figure. I'm very glad I picked it up. I picked it up. I got it for 15 bucks. You know, very nice price for a figure like this. Um, the only problem I have is on the same as this one is that they did not paint this right here, and it's very annoying. I don't know why they didn't do that. So that kind of sucks. But you know, very cool. And he is the height Spider-Man should be. Now, I do like Spider-Man lanky, and he is pretty lanky and skinny, so I do like that. Um, the only one that um, is like really bulky is um, the Snapshot Spider-Man and the, um, what do you call it? Sinister Six box at Spider-Man. Um, here he is next to the, what do you call this guy? Um, Future Foundation Spider-Man. Uh, let's get this guy straightened up. You can see they're sort of the same height. 
this guy might be a little bit taller. And here he is next to the new Amazing Spider-Man. As you can see, um, you know, the movie got um, the costume design based off of the classic one. So yeah, very nice figure. Um, if you can either pick up the Urban Legends one, it came in a box set. But if you can pick this one up, get him. He's very, very cool. Um, actually, I do recommend this one more because every review I've seen, no one is able to remove to move these um, joints. So I do recommend this one more. It's a very cool figure, very fun. When I got him, I could not stop posing him. It was very cool, um, very poseable, and he has that great likeness to Spider-Man. And um, if you don't have the McFarlane one, this is a good like. Um, Substitute for it. So very nice figure um, So yeah, all right guys, I might um, have be I mean I might have some new stuff. I can't talk today I might have some new stuff coming out um, behind the shot with Avenger um, Working on some stuff with that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And I'll catch you later